Hi everyone, Crafty Peep here. All right, we just got off of the live three with T and we are just gonna finish up a few um, crafts here. We made this today. That's just a um, canvas, uh, maybe an eight by eight uh, square canvas that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And this little guy came from the Dollar Tree and it said Easter down his um, banner. So we just cut cut her off and put her on here and painted the back um, ballet. Let me see, we did cameo pink with apple barrel and then came back with ballet slipper on um, top. So we did two coats and I'll be making, hopefully we have time today um, on here to make the ribbon uh, bow for her. But you can put her on an easel or hang her up with just a little piece of uh, jute. And right now, oh, we finished. It's happy Mardi Gras to everyone. We finished the Mardi Gras wreath that we're going to put outside for today. And today is Fat Tuesday. Tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. So we start the Litten process, the Litten journey for the next 40 days. So we came and um, painted these with the Waverly Antiques Teak Wax and wiped it off and then came back with the Waverly Ivory. You can go as heavy and I always squirt a little water when I'm working with the Waverly because it's a little thick because it's your your um, base as well as your or it's your primer as well as your base. So um, I'm going to have my husband when it warms up a little bit cut these off about right there add a little we'll add the jute now um today so he knows where to cut them but i'm going to decorate them i'll put probably get have time to do these today too with the calendar from last year at dollar tree and i'm going to do the lemonade the honey and the crisp apples or the strawberries yeah i'll probably do those three and give my um sister the honeybee because it's her last name. So let me finish painting these. I hope everybody's staying warm. I know a lot of people without power, we have been blessed. We have not had any rollouts of our power, but my parents have for, for eight hours yesterday and uh, six, maybe six hours today. So she's like, we had no problem taking our turn, but why are we getting hit twice? And I agree. You can, um, if you have a Cricut machine, you can also print out a little farm fresh milk jug or cow or anything from your Cricut and Mod Podge it on here. Okay. We're gonna put that in water, close up our paint. And if you don't have a heat gun, this just, uh, you can leave your craft overnight, but I like a heat gun so you can go on with this, this particular craft that you're working on. You don't have to wait for it to dry. But if you don't have a heat gun, a blow dryer works just as good. It might just take a little bit longer because this is very hot. So do not let your kids play with it. Um, if they go in your craft room because it, it will cause three degree burns. live so if you didn't get a chance to see um we were on live for an hour and a half making those projects so if you want to go see that please give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and put the bell on so you get uh, notified 
but it's pretty easy. I'm three with T, so central time. I'm on every day doing a different craft or following up and doing the same craft, finishing up one craft and then moving on to the next. I've already done a set of these and I just have them sticking out of a pitcher um, in the dining room and then my one of my peeps um, from my channel sent me a picture and she decorated them with um, had them cut down and decorated them with um, items from her Cricut that looked so cute that she de decorated her um, to your tray, so that's what I'm going to do too. Where am I looking for? Well, little thing you can get at Dollar Tree in the makeup section so you can not burn yourself. Press and hold against that. There we go. So when it's warmer outside, my husband will know to cut right below the jute right there, right there. No, I think the whole country is experiencing uh, this Arctic front. And I don't know. I haven't watched the news today. We were supposed to experience a historic low last night, but I don't know if we reached it or not. But it is very chilly outside. We're in um, south of Houston. Take that off before it sets because I didn't quite do it high, start it high enough. I'd really love if you were able to click share and then on the left hand side your first option is to copy link so you copy the link and you share it to your Facebook page or other social media so help me get to um, 500 and then we will work our way up to a thousand that's the magic number Eventually, I like way more than that, but a magic number right now that's getting started is a thousand. Okay, put that up. That hot glue just comes right off of the silicone, so you can use it next time. I 
hate dealing with all the glue stick webs. Okay, you're going to get your Mod Podge, your scissors to cut the I'm using the Dollar Tree, whoops, the Dollar Tree Farmer's Market. And I pr probably would have, or I probably have, thrown the backside away for years and years, not knowing there's a craft that you can do with it. I forgot I have I have a couple of um, these left, so I will be doing that probably um, next October or November. So I have. You can totally cut it out using your scissors, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a cutting blade. Oh, it says, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. Oh, I love it. I told my live group I went ahead and ordered Jennifer Pugh's calendar off of Etsy because um, I have a stinking suspicion they are not going to be in the Dollar Tree um, this year. They might, but they were such a huge hit and she's there for $16 and I think that's using a $4 coupon over on Etsy. Well worth the $16. She's got some really cute prints in there this year again. And I heard that their the paper quality isn't so thin. Okay, we're gonna do the strawberries, the lemonade, and the apple. Okay. I think I'm going to go that way. I think it's going to be a little bit more stable, so... I'll do one, and then... We'll be out of time. So just plain Mod Podge. Mod, Mod Podge where the picture is going to go. Press it on there. 
that cute? If you're not going to do the cut the sticks down and you're going to place them in a, a picture or an arrangement, then of course do it like that. Put the picture upright because it's going to be sitting in a picture or a arrangement, okay? And that is all you need to do to that. And we'll come back to show you tomorrow how it dries clear and ready to go. Thanks for being with me. Crafty Peep, 3 with T on YouTube. Bye, guys.